Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and today I'm very excited to take a look at the Toplin Shooters Collector's Edition by Retrobit for the Sega Genesis. Included in here are four reproductions of classic Genesis shooters, but it's more than that because, as you'll see, they're actually each special editions, almost like a celebration of these awesome games. And this was sent to me for review by Retrobit, and this is the final retail version. And so I'm gonna unbox this, I'm gonna show you all the stuff you get, plus we're also gonna play the games. And I've said it before, and it's so true, that the Genesis slash Mega Drive just had so many great shooters on there. And this is a celebration of those awesome games. Many of them are quite collectible, and getting rather expensive to get today. So again, this is a brand new reproduction of these games. Like I said, a celebration of them. So let's go ahead and jump into the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Hellfire. And I pick in this one because it is a unique one. You're gonna see that when we check out the gameplay footage here. But notice that there is a slip case that covers the Genesis clamshell there. You can see that it's actually embossed or raised there, which looks really good in the light. And then you have the original cover, and then you open it up and there are some puffy sticker sets in there. They all have their own unique stickers, as well as a beautiful, what would you call this, like turquoise blue cartridge there. And again, this is a reproduction, so the game is on the cartridge, it's playable. You also have a numbered certificate of authenticity, as well as a little postcard or art piece here. And then each one of them has a printed interview with the original Japanese game developer, as well as a full color manual. Now, one thing I thought was kind of interesting is that they have the English and Japanese manual in here. I thought that was kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. And then as if that wasn't enough, well, the cover is reversible. So you can choose either the English one or the Japanese cover, whichever one you prefer. And then Hellfire is a pretty unique shooter on the Genesis because at first glance, it might look like a typical R-type like clone where you are flying uh, horizontal, you know, shooting a bunch of enemies. But if you notice there, you actually toggle between four different weapon types. So the color of your ship actually changes depending on if you're gonna shoot forward or backwards or up and down or in diagonal. And the thing is, you use this all the time. And so it's not just a gimmick. You are doing this constantly throughout the level because enemies are positioned in a way that you have to sometimes shoot behind you or above you or in front. It's quite nerve wracking. I'm not great at this game, but I love that unique premise. It's so cool. Here is Truxton, and every time I see this game, of course, I think of Classic Game Room. Pour one out for Mark. Such a awesome YouTube channel. He was a big fan of Truxton, and for good reason, this game is awesome. Inside, you have another puffy sticker set dedicated to Truxton. I guess you could put this on your peachy. If kids actually have peachies anymore, I have no idea. I'm so old. Um, but here is also a cartridge. This is pink. It looks pink to me. See-through, again, the game is on there. You have another pouch here that has a numbered certificate of authenticity, as well as an art card, and another interview with the Japanese developer. And each one of these interviews is unique to the game that it comes with, but there is also some insight into his design philosophy, as well as some of the technical aspects of making the game for the Genesis as well as a full color manual, and also the cover is reversible, so you can choose how it looks on your shelf, or you can just use the awesome slip cover. And Truxton is a bit of a legendary Genesis game, and I do think that Mark from Classic Game Room has a lot to do with that. That's certainly where I first heard about the game because I would watch his channel, and it seems like he always had references to his love of Truxton on his videos. And it's for good reason. I mean, it's a gorgeous game. It's got a lot of great weapons, great graphics, really solid gameplay. It's definitely harder than it looks, you know, but a lot of these games are pretty difficult. But uh, Truxton is just, again, one of those games where if you're looking for really great shooters on the Genesis or Mega Drive, this one, this one always comes up.
Next, we have Zero Wing with one of the coolest slip covers ever. That looks like a heavy metal comic cover or something like that. Looks so awesome. This is the game that lives in infamy because it has that classic intro with the saying, all your base are belong to us. And of course you see here that it comes with puffy stickers. It also comes with a little pouch here that has another certificate of authenticity. Uh, it also has the card saying, you know, all your base are belong to us, as well as a unique interview with the, again, the original Japanese developer. And of course a color manual, both again in English and Japanese. And then Zero Wing is so good. There's a reason that this game is remembered beyond, of course, the silly intro and the really bad English translation, which honestly, actually, I, th I think that is part of its charm, but the gameplay here is so solid. As you see here, this is another horizontal shooter, and I really like this game a lot. It's actually one of my favorites in probably this whole collection because it's very it's very beginner friendly. It's It's not a super difficult game, especially when you choose the easy mode. And I think that might come down to the weapon selection. I definitely like the green weapon. I'm not sure what it is. I could probably just look at the manual and tell you, uh, but it's like a homing missile and it's super effective. This is a game that just has the right amount of challenge where if you start on easy, like I'm playing right here, you know, learn the levels, learn the enemy types, learn the patterns, and you can slowly progress through the different difficulty settings and start feeling like a real badass. It's a great game. And then last but certainly not least in this collection is Fire Shark. Now, Fire Shark is the game that I I probably played the most out of this collection, certainly, and maybe out of my entire Genesis collection. It's one of those games that I go back to uh, just time and time again. I actually have the original cartridge of this. It's just because it's such a solid vertical shooter. And then going through the unboxing here, you have the see-through cartridge. Notice that each one of these games is a different color. And so this one is an opaque yellow. You've also got the puffy sticker set in there as well as a pouch, again, like the other ones where you have the certificate of authenticity, you have an art card, as well as a unique interview with the developer. And Fire Shark, I think is a good game for beginners to the shoot 'em up genre. I mean, when you choose easy mode in this game, it is truly easier than the other modes. And that's not always the case with these shoot 'em ups. And it's just a very enjoyable shoot 'em up. Me personally, I actually prefer vertical style shooters. I'm not sure why, but that's kind of that's kind of how I grew up in the 80s playing those games, you know, like Tiger Heli and things like that. This reminds me of it and it feels very similar to that. And again, I like it's slightly less difficulty. You know, I'm not great at these shooters. And so I like to feel like I've, you know, making some progress at least a little bit. And Fire Shark is definitely one of those games. If you haven't played it, Now's the time. And then also included in this collector's edition is this zero wing pin. I love this. I love how they're just embracing the cheesiness of this. I mean, at this point, of course, it's it's video game lore at this point, you know, the, all your base are belong to us. And they're just celebrating it here with a really cool pin. And then there's this signed thank you card from the game developer, which kind of surprised me. I mean, that's the thing about this collection is that you can tell that it's a celebration of this particular game developer and his vision of these games. And I'm a big fan of them because as you see here, each one of them is just a little bit different, a little bit unique from the others. And I just think that's so awesome. All right, guys, well, that is a quick look at the Topolin Shooters Collector's Edition from Retrobit. Now these games are sold separately, but also as this collection. And I'll put a link down to Castlemania Games below so you can check it out yourself. I also wanna let you know that I put more footage of me playing these games on my secondary YouTube channel, MJR Extras. So if you want to see a little bit more of these games in action, I'll put a link down in the video description below. And then let me know what are some of your favorite Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive shooters. 
let me know down in the comments below because there are so many of them and it would be kind of cool to see retro bit maybe take on some other ones you know like steel empire some of those games like that would be pretty cool all right guys thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing take care